Oregon is a great place to grow fruit. Just look at all these lovely peaches. I wouldn't have a branch this low to the ground, though. It's impractical. The mower would hit it. The reason this branch is so low is because the weight of the fruit broke it off. Peaches are particularly susceptible to this because they put on so much fruit, and they'll do it early in their lifespan. The result means that the branch is not matured enough to hold it up. A funny little story, as long as we're talking about peaches and too much fruit. When I was a kid, one of my first adventures into gardening was planting a peach tree. When it got this loaded with peaches, the same thing looked like it was going to happen. The branches are going to break because there's too much fruit on them. So what we decided to do was put some sticks up to hold the branches. The raccoons appreciated it. They climbed up the sticks. They took out the entire crop in one evening. That's part of gardening. Same thing happened with this apple tree. Way too much fruit on the branches. It's a tree that's only about five years old. I should have thinned the apples to take some of the weight off, but I was busy, well, taking care of all these chickens, apparently. Broccoli is really a spring crop. I had too much then, but if I leave it in and keep cutting the flowers off, I can have too much broccoli again in December, even January. So don't tear your broccoli out just because it's starting to flower too much. Keep them cut off and you'll get these new heads. It's another way to extend your garden season even if you had too much of something to start with.